What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Blackstone Air Fryer Griddle Combo. And today for lunch for you guys, I'm going to make some fried chicken wings. And this is going to be page 9 of my online air fryer cookbook for newbies. So, although I'm doing it in the uh, Blackstone, I want to include that in my cookbook. So, because whatever I'm doing, you can put it in your standalone air fryer or whatever air fryer you have. All right, we're going to use the go-to that we use in my air fryer group, guys, Kentucky Colonel. And shout out to my air fryer group, by the way, on Facebook. We just hit 60,000 members the other day. That's awesome. I'll put a link in the description. Definitely join it for the best air fryer recipes on the online, period. So let's get started seasoning this, guys. I'm going to first spray it with my Evo oil spray. I got some avocado oil in there. Olive oil would be fine as well. In my mind, this helps your seasoning stick. Next up, we're going to add my go-to. Pink salt, black pepper, garlic. Link will be in the description to that. If you haven't tried this out, it's awesome. Walmart sells it, but nowadays it's, it's sold out more, more times than it's not. And Amazon has it for the same price. So if you have Prime, it'd be at your door in two days. I'm going to add some paprika to it. If you have smoked paprika, even better. But I'll just use regular today because I know some of you guys don't have that. And I want to show you that regular um, paprika is fine as well. We're going to give this a mix, guys. We're not going to do any egg wash or anything like that, guys. We don't have to do that. You can do that, though. You want to do that? You can. But you don't have to. And you're just mixing it till everything looks coated. Because, um... The flour, of course, the seasoned flour that we're using has, you know, has a little bit of salt in there and a little bit of, you know, other flavoring or whatever. So, so this is good. Go ahead and get you a gallon Ziploc bag or you know, a plastic bag, brown bag, whatever you feel comfortable coat, coating your, um, your chicken wings in. It's fine. All right, put my flour in the Ziploc bag. So I'm going to do three or four pieces at a time. You can do more if you want. I'm going to do four. And then you just grab it. Give it a shake. Shake off the extra flour. And boom. All right, guys. Got them all done. So now, all we have to do is hit it with some oil till we don't see any white flour. That's all we need to do. And we're going to do that to both sides, guys. And then we'll be ready to start air frying. That's simple. Remember, both sides. Alright, I don't know how much I'll be able to fit in here, guys. But... I'll put as much as I can. And, you know, we're not, we don't want to overcrowd it because we're going to have to flip them manually with these tongs, right? We're not going to shake it. <laughs> we're going to actually flip it. So we want to give it room to get the air, room to flip, and all that good stuff. So it looks like we're going to do probably six. Probably sick. You know what? All right, guys, I was able to get eight in there. So I'm going to get the other air fryer basket and load that. How many pieces I got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I got eight more. So that's cool. All right, this is my second basket. I got eight in. And guys that are using uh, the traditional air fryers like your Kasori, your Instant uh, Vortex, or Power Excels, etc. You should be able to fit at least 12 wings in, in your um in your basket. Alright. Alright, we're ready to put this in, guys. Now I'm assuming this may take uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking 35, 40 minutes. I'm thinking. I don't know. But we're gonna find out today. 
Let's get let's close them. Get this thing on. First, let me turn it on here. Got the fan going. And then turn that on. Hit that. Alright. I'll let y'all know what the weather is out here. Weather. In Greensboro, it's 46 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for lots of clouds, with a high of 57 degrees and a low of 46 degrees. Okay. Set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Shout out to Trader Joe's. Some My subscribers know I went there. We just got a Trader Joe's out here in Greensboro uh, about a month and a half ago, two months ago. And so I, I went in there and lost my mind. I've spent probably like 80 bucks. So this is something that I bought from them. Some cauliflower stir fry rice. Check it out, y'all. So we're going to put this on the griddle part of the uh, Blackstone to eat with our wings. Kind of have like a low carb, you know, low carb Chinese food lunch sort of deal. You know, it's crazy. I could smell it. I could smell the seasonings and everything. Just like my kitchen air fryer. Yo, it's crazy. I'm smelling it outside, yo. Man. Playing from Galaxy S10 Plus. Alright, so uh, 20 minutes is up. Let me turn that off. Alright, let's take a look at it. Alright, let's see what we're working with. <laughs> Nice. Look at that, y'all. That's nice. That is nice right there. Um, I'm going to let it go for about another five minutes, and then I'm going to flip it. So 25 minutes. And that should be good. I'm going to flip it. All right, guys. 25 minutes is up. And this is the second basket. I flipped the other one off camera. But what's cool about this, guys, is both sides are being cooked. Not bad. Like, look. Oh, I don't know if you could have saw that one. So I flipped that one over. And look at that. I mean, that's... It's not done, but it's been being... It, you could tell it's been cooked. So that's cool. One thing I would do next time is spray out the little tray that it comes... That this basket comes with. Just give it a little uh, spray with some Pam. Because some of the uh, the flour is peeling off. But that's okay. And most of it is staying. So that's good. But just, if I were to do this again, it's not nothing bad or anything. See, like this one. Most of the stuff came off. But that's okay. But cool. Look at that. So, I don't know. For argument's sake, I'm going to go another 20 minutes. Yeah. All right, so we got them all flipped, and we're going to put them back in for 20 minutes. Man, I wish you guys could smell it. Set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. All right, guys. We'll be back. Now, Blackstone, feel free to send your boys some tools to cook on. Some Blackstone branded stuff, you know what I mean? Go ahead and get the top started. Uh, we don't need it that high. Just, just two burners. See? Alright guys, about four minutes have passed. I'm just going to use my oil sprayer. I got avocado oil in there. I'm just going to hit the grill. It's just easier. You can pour it in if you want, but that's just more pimp-like. All right, guys, let's get our cauliflower rice in there. One bag. Just breaking it up. Alright. 
One bag is good, but I'll, I'll make two bags. I'll rock two bags for you guys. So if you're in Trader Joe's and you're cooking for one or two people, one bag is actually good. You have another stuff with it. I'm gonna let that cook. Let's see, what can you see? All right, you can see everything, all right. Got my Blackstone water bottle that I had for my, my other, my other griddle. So, just creating some steam. And I'm gonna give it a close. Let's check on them wings. So we're about eight minutes in. Oh man, that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them again. I'm gonna flip them again so the other side can look just that crispy. That's nice, man. Actually, guys, no need to flip. These suckers are done. Wow. Wow. I'm just gonna cook them on the other side for a couple minutes. But they're done now. Wow. Amazing. So really good. So 30 minutes. 30 minutes is all you need. Let's go ahead and turn that right on off. Save some gas because we are done. I could put them in here to keep warm. May do that, but rice should be good. Look at that, guys. Come on now. Come on. What is this, y'all? I just got a package. Uh-oh. Hey, baby. Look at that, y'all. Oh, we're going to oh, we gonna try some of this with one of them wings for sure. Oh, yeah. I just got this just in, y'all. The doorbell just rang. Nice. Zero carbs, too? What? All right, guys. I think we're ready. Turn this off. And let's open it up and see what we got. Yeah. We've been going for about eight minutes. And we're good. Let's make a plate, y'all. You smell that? Cooking with Doug Wood like to shout out the Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook. Alright guys, just finished doing my thumbnail. It's time to eat. You see that? This could be you. Guilt free, this is cauliflower rice, y'all. Shout out to all my low carbers out there. We're gonna try this hot, hot sauce out. <clears throat> all right. All right, guys. It's time to eat, man. Let's have some of this rice. I know some of you guys wanna try it. You got it? That's good. Has a nice ginger taste to it. Very awesome. It tastes like rice. You wouldn't even miss it at all. In fact, I, I gotta take another bite. Y'all gotta take one with me. This is good, y'all. You got it? Mm. You know we gotta have some chicken wings. You first, man. You got it? Perfect. Perfect, guys. 30 minutes. This could be you outside. Mm. With little to no oil at all. About three tablespoons worth. You saw it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's just too good. I'm going to do a separate video rating this, but since I got it today, I just couldn't resist. It doesn't smell hot. It smells more Tabasco saucy. Doesn't smell hot, but that doesn't mean anything, right? Let's see. I don't want to get it on one good. No, I don't want 
want that one. I want this one. Let me get it good. Yeah, that one's good. That one's nice and good. But you know what? I'm going to have you try it first before I even try it. You got it? Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's hot. But it's got a little twist to it, though. I don't know. I can't describe it. I probably will after this video. It doesn't taste like, you know, your traditional Texas peat hot or hotter. It has a little twist to it. I like it. Mmm. Mmm. I have another piece with me. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's, it, it's just too good. It's okay. It's hot. It's not super hot. Um, uh, would I buy it again? No, but I'll use it till the bottle finish for sure. But it ain't got nothing on my Texas Speed Hotter. Nothing. This is the real deal to me. Anywho, just having fun uh, with my Blackstone um, air fry and griddle combo. You saw how easy it is. I'm outside for lunch. This took me, what, all of, what, 35 minutes. Done. Easy. And most of the time, I was just sitting waiting. This could be you. Put a link in the description where you can get, you can, right now, you can get this at, what, Blackstone's website and Walmart. I'll put the Walmart description in there. <clears throat> when you get to Walmart, when you get it from Walmart, they can put it together for you. So, you know, if you're not handy like me, <laughs> you can... You can have it put together for you and just pick it up. No extra charge. So, of course, that's pimp like. Well, that concludes page nine of my online air fryer for newbies cookbook. This is Wings Edition. The, I guess the Blackstone Wings Edition. But again, you can adapt this to any air fryer, not just this Blackstone. If you use traditional, like I said, it'll take 24 minutes to flip at 12, and you'll be fine. Just follow everything else that I did. All right, so I hope this video was helpful to you, and I hope this was both to the, my air fryer community because, like I said, we have over 60,000 members in my air fryer group. So you Blackstone folks, you know, I'm just passing through. I'm just going to do a couple more videos and be about my way. But <clears throat> if you want to see some air fryer um, recipes or if you're, you know, on the fence, you, you want to know, know a little bit more about it, hey, click the link in the description and join my group. Over 60,000 of us, we got recipes all day. And a lot of them you can adapt to this uh, Blackstone as well. I'm also going to leave um, in the comments um, a playlist, a link to my playlist, air fryer playlist. So this is number nine. So you'll see, if you're looking at it today, you'll see nine. But of course, there'll be more. I'll go up to probably 20 or 30, just depending. So that's awesome. Um, guys, if you have an Instagram, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. And that's about it, man. Loving this machine. If you're on the fence of getting one, I say get one. The reason why I got it is because charcoal and traditional charcoal and gas grills at this stage of my life is too much cleanup for the company that I'm having. This could do everything, easy cleanup, and I could air fry with it as well as a bonus. I mean, you just can't lose. All right? So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.